Back in 2011, when we were testing update 0.7.0, we released an interesting and unusual vehicle called the MTLS. Players noticed it right away because of its twin-barreled gun. Right after that, we were asked to add this mechanic to the game along with other vehicles that had similar features. So the question is, why didn't we add this mechanic before? Why did we only recently start working on it despite its potential? There are at least three reasons for that. The first is historical. There weren't many such vehicles that actually existed or had good detailed blueprints. We needed to properly integrate this mechanic to the existing game ecosystem without destroying it, while at the same time making it interesting and desirable for players. Before the release of the Italian vehicles, we didn't have the proper technical ability to implement the mechanics of firing two guns. After the introduction of Italian vehicles, we started working on the design and historical aspects. During and right after World War II, the USSR started creating several projects for tanks and SPGs with double or triple guns. One of them was the T-34-3. The plan was to mount two 45mm guns along with the F-34 on the turret of the famous 34. But development never went further than the design stage. Based on the KV, two SPG prototypes were created under the working name of KV-7 one with a triple gun system and one with double 76 mm guns. However, the project was closed after testing the prototypes. Finally, in 1945, the ST-1 and ST-2 tank projects were introduced. The second one had either double 100 mm or 122 mm guns. There was no official military engineer response to the ST-2 project, and the vehicle wasn't even prototyped. The objective drawbacks were the same for all projects regarding this kind of vehicle. The increase in turret or cabin size led to an increase in the general weight of the vehicle. At the same time, more space was needed for the crew. Dealing with two or three guns was harder than with one. Basically, ergonomics was suffering. This and other problems made it harder and more expensive to create and maintain such vehicles, making their assembly and usage technically and economically impractical. During the creation of the game models, we considered the existing aspects of implementing twin-barreled guns in tank turrets. We had to consider a pretty large number of parameters, such as design, historical, and technical aspects. That's why we dedicated a lot of time to creating a prototype with this mechanic. We conducted many internal tests, and soon we'll start testing this mechanic on a larger scale in the super test. This is only the first large-scale test of this mechanic, and there is no final decision about implementing it in the game. Everything will of course depend on the test results, and on how acceptable for the game the mechanics will be. Only then will we decide if we continue working on it or not. In this video, we'll talk about the mechanic, using a prototype vehicle as an example, which may be added to the game at some point. We wanted to first of all test the mechanic itself, not the characteristics of a certain vehicle or its peculiarities in the game. That's why we'll use a so-called baseline vehicle. It'll be a heavy tank, it'll be slow, and it'll of course have two guns. And it will not be the ST-2. It does not suit Tier 8 very well. And we wanted to test this mechanic precisely for Tier 8. Here's our vehicle. As you can see, it has two guns. They are the same caliber. The vehicle can fire these guns in three different ways. The general cyclic way, consecutive fire, and the double shot with both guns simultaneously. Cyclic mode is the simplest one. You can even say it's the classic. You fire a shell, wait for reloading to complete, and fire the next gun. Because we have two guns, and at any given moment of time, only one of them can be active, meaning the one we are aiming with, or the camera is looking through, the game switches to the next gun automatically after the shot, alternating one after another. Similar to the Italian vehicles, we can identify a second way of shooting, similar to a classic autoloader. We have a time for loading between shots, and you fire a number of shells sequentially. But there's a catch. If you fire your second gun while the first one is reloading, the reloading of the first gun is interrupted. 
Now for the interesting part, firing two guns. How does it work? It's pretty simple to fire both guns at the same time. Just press and hold the left mouse button, which will start the shot preparation. When it ends, both guns will fire simultaneously. The player can cancel this preparation phase simply by releasing the left mouse button if firing is impossible or the enemy has left your line of fire. Both guns are locked after the double shot, and neither of them can be reloaded for some time. The method of aiming and shell trajectory became the main obstructions for the entire mechanic. We had a choice of aiming both guns at the same time, or in some other way. To fire both shells at the same time, or consecutively. From two points, four from one. We ended up selecting aiming with one active gun. To understand shell trajectories, you only need to know two things. First, shells always fly parallel to each other, despite the deviation from the central axis during aiming. And second, the distance between flying shells equals the distance between the vehicle's guns. Shells hit different spots, so we calculate damage and penetration for each shell separately. It means that one of the shells may penetrate while the other may ricochet. Either that or both shells penetrate the armor and deal different damage. There is one more important aspect. Shells fly from each gun, and each gun has its own calculations. It's very important to understand that if the left gun has a direct line of sight with a target for shooting and you can hit it, that doesn't mean that the right gun isn't blocked by something. For example, this kind of situation can happen. You're standing near the corner of a building and aiming with your left gun. You can clearly see the target and able to penetrate it, so you prepare to fire. But in the current aiming mode, you can't correctly calculate the firing direction of the second gun, which might really be aiming at the wall. So after the double shot, the shell from the right gun would hit the wall, while the shell from the left gun would hit the target as intended. Also, there is always the same type of shell in both guns. If you want to change the shell type, for example from AP to APCR, you will have to reload both guns. You can't have different shells in different guns. How do you play such a vehicle? It's pretty simple. Generally, you either use cyclical reloading or consecutive. This type of gameplay is familiar to players as they actively use it for vehicles with autoloaders. So it's not hard. Shoot if you see the target. Shoot again if you can shoot again. But the interesting part starts when you fire both guns. It's an interesting mechanic that gives you an additional opportunity in battle, but you should think twice before using it. Before firing both guns, you must consider several things at once. First, you must see your target clearly and make sure it's not too far away for you to hit it. Second, you must estimate how the battle situation might change during the shot preparation. You must make sure the target doesn't disappear from your reticle during this time. You must also have a chance to retreat to cover after the shot so you can safely endure a lengthy reload. This mechanic will be actively tested in the super test in the nearest future. We will be testing the mechanic itself, not any characteristics of any vehicles nor balance parameters. We want to understand how well the mechanic integrates into the game, whether it's competitive and if it's interesting gameplay-wise. Only after successful testing will we start testing certain vehicles. You'll learn about them in another video. While you wait, leave your feedback on the forum, share your opinion, and good luck on the battlefield. See you soon!